everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's review, I will be taking a look at the studio at the Transformers Studio series Leader Class Scavenger, who is probably one of my favorite of the Studio Series Constructicons, as I now have four of them out of the entire eight. Starting off, you all know how, th how this goes. We'll take a look at the packaging. Up front here we have an, a close image of Scavenger. He's number 55 in the Studio Series. He's just like, hey. Because <laughs> it looks like he's, he's saying hi with the way his arm is positioned. His name is Scavenger from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. This side just shows an image of Devastator. This side just shows his number, Studio Series, and an up close image of his face. He's a leader class. And on the back, transforms in 25 steps between Robot and his ex <coughs> Excavator alternate mode. His backdrop is the same as the other Studio Series Constructicons. And Here's a bio that you can never get, that will never get old. The desert sands quake as Constructicon Scavenger combines with his comrades to form Devastator. So that's basically it for the packaging, and as you see, the backdrop has already been removed, so move that off to the side. Moving on to Scavenger himself, as you see, I already have him as the torso of Devastator. Well, the upper torso and shoulders. Now, for those of you who have seen my previous reviews on the other Studio Series Constructicons, you know how this goes. I go from combined mode to vehicle mode and then robot mode. And then I also go from the transformation from robot mode to combined mode. And then at the end, I transform him from combined mode to robot mode. So with that off to the side, as you can see, he's basically the upper torso as well as the shoulders of Devastator. So there's really not much here, and I will bring out some comparisons. So to start off with the transformation into vehicle mode, what you want to do is untab what will become the arms for his robot and excavator alternate modes. But first, you're going to want to rotate these connector bits on the side. These will connect to High Tower and Scrapper, who I do not have currently okay so once that's done now there there are a lot of twists and turns when it comes to a figure like this take these bits move them off to the side rotate what will become his, his top wheel in robot mode split this bottom section here then take what looks like the grinder section for devastator split that then make sure to untab this from here repeat the same for the other side then extend what will become his treads in vehicle mode like so See, there's a lot of rotating, twisting, and turning that has to be done here. Then, just take, wait, I uh, see what I did there. Then, what you want to do is tab everything. And here there are two open holes that will tab into these slots, like so. Just get everything right into place, like so. It is a bit tricky to do. Okay, so that's one side. Now for the other side. Okay, so tap this in, and there you have the 
treads for his alternate mode, then what you want to do is take these, and set set them off here. Then this is where you, this is where I was concerned when it comes to this. Then rotate that there like so. Rotate this. Extend all this. Then what you want to do is rotate here like so. Then take what will become the cab for his alternate mode, and then just leave it like that. Repeat the same pro process from this side. Rotate the arm like so. Then just have everything in here like so. Take this, take this piece right here, and then just leave it there like so. This came undone. And uh, here we have this. Then, what you want to do is basically tab everything into place, make sure everything is lined up like so. bit tricky to do but uh there's the bit there's the click are we done are we done it seems we're done oh wait these just leave them off to the side well to the back now what I like to do which is optional is take what will become his face in robot mode and then see this is optional where I just rotate the head but when you're done, here you have Leader Class Scavenger in his Excavator Alternate Mode. Now for those of you that do not know the type of excavator this is, this is, and I'm being very specific because this is not Demolisher, this is Scavenger. His original toy was called Demolisher, when in reality it is supposed to be Scavenger. Scavenger is an ONK Arch for 100 Mining Excavator. While Scavenger, despite sharing his, well, not Sc <sighs> Ah, man. This is why characters that share the same body type are oftentimes confusing. Scavenger is an ONK RH400 mining excavator, while Demolisher is an is a Terex RH400. Now, obviously, the ONK is not present, neither is the Terex logos. Now, there are some wheels underneath, and he does roll quite well. Now, his alternate mo now his excavator arm is becomes his arms in robot mode. So you get a joint here, a joint here, and this scoop here will become his robot mode hands. So you can get a lot of articulation out of this. Now let's see if I can bring in the other Constructicons I currently have. Here's Mixmaster and uh, Scrap Metal. So let's see if I can get the whole shot from here. See how the team is forming. Now oh, I do have Leader Class Overload who is coming next for review so stay tuned for that. Now you can see how the how the team's forming up. Now obviously Deluxe Voyager Leader Class. So setting off these two to the side. Moving on to the transformation of from vehicle mode to robot mode. You basically just want to do what I did, where you just split everything. 
Now you can split him from any of the, anywhere from here. Yeah, you basically just split him like so, tab everything in like slow, like so. Take now this. I just like to slot it right there. Then there's this notch that will lock in lock into place here. Once you hear the click, like like that, there's the click. There's an arm. Repeat the same. Repeat the same for the other side. There's the click. Then take this and tab it from there, and then it just rests. Take the head, rotate like so. Take these. Take the treads, fold them back in like so. Untab this. Take this and just close it in like so. This is where some of the rotating comes in. Sorry if I'm not getting some of this on camera. Take this. Now basically, what I found clever that Hasbro managed to do was to take the treads and make them into one giant wheel while making this a fake wheel. And then basically what you want to do is sandwich the two treads into his giant one rolling wheel. Now it is a bit tricky to do, but it can be done. Now you have to make sure the treads are like so because otherwise you're not gonna get that get everything tabbed in. I might have to do some of this off camera. Okay, so um there you have that. And just then this will become a finger now from what I can tell scavenger has three fingers now this is supposed to be a thumb but it appears that it's something like this you see how I'm doing my fingers something like that then what you want to do is wait rotate the other wait rotate the fake wheel the other way Then take there's a clip here that will lock all this in a place. Now it is a bit tricky to do. Now this is only on my copy. I don't know if anyone else's copy would suffer or something like that. But when you're done, here you have leader class scavenger in his robot mode. And uh He's a good update on what we saw in concept art, and he is based on Demolisher from the movie. Now, he does have a fully modeled CGI render that was never used in Revenge of the Fallen, unless, of course, you count Demolisher. Then again, Demolisher is a separate character. Now, on a flat surface, I managed to get Scavenger standing on his one wheel, and I'm hoping this is possible for here as well, but it doesn't seem that way. <sighs> Can I do it? Can I do it? Now, most reviews, now most people have done what I've done as well by using the arms to balance him, but I have managed to do this on flat surfaces. Now let's see if I can use this backdrop to show that off. Then again, I might. Then again, this my review station here isn't really a flat surface. 
So I might show an image of me actually balancing him on this one wheel. But yeah, here we have Theta Class Scavenger in robot mode. As for our articulation, head is on a ball joint. It can do well that. You can look up at far. It can't really look down. It can look, well, kind of. It can kind of look side to side. So there's that. Arms are on ratchet joints. Well, soft ratchet joints. The individual arms can rotate from here on the shoulder. Bicep rotation, I think. Elbow rotation due to, well, how he is. And the hands can move. He has that open finger. Now, I guess this counts as a waist rotation due to how he is positioned. So, there's that. Alright, so I managed to get Scavenger standing on his one wheel. However, I had to use his backdrop in order to do so. And now that we've gone over the articulation, let's move on to the comparisons. Here's... Here, let's see how the team is looking. Alright, so um, here's a wide shot of Mixed Master and Scrap Metal with Scavenger. Obviously, Deluxe, Voyager, and Leader Class. So, um, there's that. Setting them. Ah, oh. oh, crap. Setting them off to the side. Now, as you now as you can see, Scavenger can stand on his one wheel, the one wheel on a flat surface, and if you can get him to balance. Now, let's take a look at that head sculpt for a minute because let's appreciate how let's appreciate all of the sculpt and detail they got for the for the mouth that looks like mandibles, the black around the yellow eyes. Now I do hope they give us a demolisher with who would now if they now if Hasbro and Takara do give us a demolisher to go with well Rampage since Rampage isn't part of the Devastator combination that would be nice since well what would be nice is it is if demolisher is a retool as there is this black piece that connects the fake non-rotating wheel up there, so there's that. Now, obviously, you can situate him on his backdrop. Now, moving on to the transformation from robot mode to combined mode. Oh yeah, and the wheel does roll, so you can get that. Now he is quite dynamic in terms of the arms and his wheel. So there's that. Moving on the transform onto the transformation from robot mode to his combined mode. Undo that. Close everything in here like so. Untab this. Then just take everything here and then lock it in like so. Take the connector joint and then just rotate it. Do the same for the other side. Tab. Make sure everything is lined up, secure, and locked into place, like so, whoops, then take the wheel, untab that like so, then take this, just take this like so, ah, oh, damn, 
Now I will not show off Mixmaster combining with Scavenger in this review. I'll probably save that for the review on Overload, which will probably be probably be my longest review on this, on the Studio Series Constructicons. Okay, so um Oh wait, no 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 I messed up right there. Rotate wheel here like so. Then Now you want to make sure he's upside down like this, then rotate the wheel here like that, then take all of this, take all this, rotate it, and tab everything in like so. Tab that in there like so. Then take the shoulders. Oh wait, no, I think I might have did, did that wrong. Let me let me see here. No, nope, no. Nope. Yep, I did that wrong. Make sure that is tabbed and locked in place. Repeat the same side. You want to make sure everything is situated the way you saw earlier on in the review. Then rotate, and that's where I messed up. That wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to come undone. Okay, so um, make sure that's there. Then rotate at what was his bicep in robot mode do the same for both sides make sure not to untap everything while doing this like I'm doing alright so oh uh, no 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 that's not how uh, I think I might have done bad here huh. There it is, there's the bit. And here we have Scavenger's transformation, and there you have Scavenger's transformation from robot mode to combined mode. So there's that. Now, moving back to robot mode transformation, along with giving some final thoughts and recommendations. Now, the Scavenger must have. If you're collecting the Studio Series Constructicon, Scavenger is a must-have as he is essential for the head and the arms. And well, that's that's probably the best recommendation I can give if you're getting a Scavenger. I mean, he's not a pass, he is a good figure and I highly recommend him. He gets, well, he gets a 9 out of 10 for me, he is that awesome of a figure to, well, mess around with. Scavenger and Overload are essentially my two favorite Studio Series Constructicons in terms of playability, how accurate they are. I mean, even if they are based on concept art, concept art is, well, the starting stage of certain Transformers series. So there's that. Now... Aside from Scavenger, the only other Constructicon I would recommend would be Overload because the leader class Overload figure in Studio Series is a beast. So, um, there you have that. And th those are my final thoughts on leader class Scavenger from the, Transform from the Studio Series. And one thing I might as well add is that he is a perfect update on the original toy and probably the best recommend probably the best scaled scavenger figure we've ever gotten in terms of the movie constructicons 
And, uh, yeah. Now, he is available at every... Now, they are... Now, Hasbro apparently managed to do some... Now, one thing I will point out is that Hasbro and Takara decided, hey, let's put the Studio Series Constructicons in a box set. Which, of course, they did. Which sucks. Now, one thing they did for that box set is include Skipjack and not Rampage, because Rampage is red and Skipjack is yellow. So there's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review on Transform on the Transformer Studio Series Leader Class Scavenger. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time.